In this lesson, we're going to be talking about checkpoints. And checkpoints are points in time where you are running a virtual machine. You could also think of them as a snapshot. And some virtualization software actually calls them snapshots. What we've got here is just a particular point in time from the disk and memory standpoint of the life of a virtual machine. Now, why would I want to do a snapshot or a checkpoint? Well, one reason I may want to do a snapshot or a checkpoint is because I am doing something that's particularly destructive to the operating system for one reason or another. And I may want to take a snapshot ahead of time so that I can roll back to that snapshot after I've done the work that I'm doing. So, for example, I may be doing testing on a particular application. And what I'm doing with the testing may destroy data. And so what I want to do is do the test, get the results, and be able to roll back so I've got the data back intact again once I'm done the testing. Another reason I may want to be able to do a snapshot rollback is I may be doing malware forensics or malware analysis, for example. With malware, I have no idea if I'm just looking at it for the first time, I have no idea what it's going to be doing. So what I may want to do is take a snapshot, run the malware, be able to look at the disk, and then roll back to the snapshot to clean that malware off. So what I'm going to be doing here is taking a test snapshot. And so now we're creating the snapshot here. I can do the same thing inside this virtualization shell inside of Linux, just as another example of how I can do snapshots. So virtualization software like Parallels or VMware gives me the ability to do these snapshots. So here I could do a snapshot current, or rather I could do a snapshot create. And in this case, I can't actually do that because the disk doesn't support snapshotting. But if I had a virtual machine that did support snapshotting, I could take a snapshot of that virtual machine using this virtualization shell software interacting with KVM, which is the virtual machine that's running on this Linux system. So now I'm going to go back to Parallels. So now what I could do, I could do something that's really destructive, and I could, for example, actually let's bring up a terminal window where it's a little bit easier. So what I could do would be to So now I've removed all of the Apache logs. Now what I could do would be to revert to snapshot. And now I'm reverting back to the snapshot I took a couple of minutes ago. And all of that data should still be there. You'll see the terminal window that I just opened up is gone now. Because what we've done is we've gone back to that particular point in time from both a disk and a memory perspective. And now here I can go into var and I go into var log and Apache 2 and you see all of the logs are back. So I reverted to a snapshot which gives me the state that the system was in when I took that snapshot. So all of the things that I did in between are gone. So I opened up a terminal window for example and I deleted a bunch of log files. When we reverted to the snapshot, the terminal window was gone because it wasn't there when we created the snapshot. And the log files that I deleted in the interim are back because they were there when I created the snapshot. So you can see where checkpoints or snapshots are pretty useful. And like I said, virtualization software like Parallels or VMware or Microsoft's virtual PC software give you the ability to do these checkpoints or snapshots and you can roll back work that you have done if you made a mistake or if you did something that was destructive deliberately and you want to revert back to the way it was before you did that work, whatever it happened to be.
So checkpoints and snapshots, really helpful for a forensic investigator. Again, you may want to do testing on a particular image that you've got and be able to revert back to that image so that you can keep going back. Or you may be looking at malware, for example, and you may be doing forensic analysis on a piece of malware. You may need to revert to snapshots or checkpoints.